We started writing Beautiful Creatures when we talked about how all the teens in our lives were so impacted by the supernatural fiction that they were reading. And that we were reading. I think the supernatural in general is really appealing right now. It's like how science fiction was in the 50s. It's a way of talking about powerful, dangerous, realistic feelings. We said, we should do this. We had a story we wanted to tell. And the minute we went home, our teenagers were all over us and basically dared us to write the book. Beautiful Creatures was really inspired by our love of the South and wanting to tell a story about what it's like to be different. And it's about a boy who feels very trapped by the small town that he lives in. A girl moves into town who is really different. He has to decide what's more important to him, belonging to the fishbowl that is the town of Gatlin, or to follow his heart. We have an incredibly strange writing process that defies explanation. People ask us about it all the time. Our actual writing voice is incredibly similar, which I think is a fluke. It's not something that we would have expected or you can control. And unlike most writing partners that we've heard about, we don't write individual characters or separate chapters. People are constantly saying, well, do you write Ama or do you write Lena? Who writes Macon? Yeah. We both write everything. And we have terrible memories, which is helpful <laughs> because we actually don't know who wrote what by it's the true. end of the book. We're actually in my office right now. Cammie has her comfy chair. I have my comfy yeah. chair. Our definitions of comfy chair are very different. Totally different. As Mine di is better. <laughs> Our writing process involves Diet Coke, many empty boxes of wheat thins, and if the writing goes past midnight, Jack, Jack in, in the, the box. box. So this summer, we took a little trip to South Carolina to Charleston. We wanted to see all those places and smell magnolias and walk plantations. And we the spent, Spanish a, moss and we spent an excessive moss. amount of time in the graveyard, too. <laughs> Why are graveyards so beautiful and fascinating? Because graveyards are about history. They're and about love. Yeah, they're about seeing that somebody was loved and is remembered. One of the reasons we really wanted to write Beautiful Creatures is because books have been so meaningful to both Margie and I our entire lives. If you find the right book at the right time in your life, particularly when you're a teen, it can really change your life. It can change your perception of yourself. And that's what we hope that a, that a teenager will be able to find in Beautiful Creatures. They'll be able to realize that they're not the only one that's feeling different or having to make these kinds of difficult choices. And maybe the book will help them make some of them.